This is a purple air monitor, and I'm gonna show you how to install it at your house. First things first, we're going to install the purple air in the house with our computer here. Uh, so we'll want to um, plug this in. We're going to want to look for the red glow inside the purple air, and that shows that you have power. And then you want to go to purpleair.com. So then we go look in our Wi-Fi menu and you will look for the purple air monitor. And here we get the little automatic pop-up window and we will choose our Wi-Fi signal and then enter the password for the Wi-Fi signal. Then we'll click save. And you can check the live link on this little purple air window. And if your purple air is connected, then it will give you a reading of the air quality at that moment. Once we feel that everything looks good here, we change our Wi-Fi back to the house Wi-Fi for the computer, and then we click on the register button on the configure page. You want to type in the purple air code here in this format, and then you want to type in the associated email address. If you enter this properly, purple air will tell you that it's a good match. Most of the time, you'll want to select uh, for the purple air to be outside. Then we'll type in the location name. It's best if you don't type in something that's too specific to your home address. I generally make the purple air data available to the general public. I try to move the purple air location to a nearby cross street so that it's difficult to tell exactly where the purple air is located. You can leave the data processor fields alone. Then you can type in the owner's name, and that's you and your personal email address, and then your personal phone number if you'd like to get SMS alerts. Then carefully read the terms and conditions, click the box if you agree, and then click the register button. And there it is. Congratulations, the device registration was updated. Now we can look for the purple air on the big purple air map. And there it is. We've found it. It's showing a reading of 54. I find that underneath a Pittsburgh porch is a great place to install the purple air because it keeps the purple air out of the rain and snow. So I just attached this purple air with a little screw and set it up so that the rain's not going to fall on it. Um, it's not really going to get blown by a gust of wind right here, but the air, including the particles in the air, have a chance to flow freely past the uh, purple air monitor. Next step is to install the little electric cord all the way around, and then once you're done, you just plug it right in here. The next step is to just check online and make sure that your purple air is online and uh, measuring the air pollution. And uh, that's all. <laughs>